Today I'm showing you a wavy hair routine. This is my modification on the wash now, style later routine. If you dislike wet detangling in shower, then you might find this video interesting. We start with a pre-poo. I'm using the Just Herbs Bring Raj hair oil. I'll focus the oil on my scalp region only. I'll keep parting my hair and then I'm gonna massage my scalp using my fingertips, applying gentle pressure. This will not only stimulate my scalp, but also remove dead skin cells, dirt, debris, and buildup. I don't use copious amounts of oil when I pre-poo my hair, and I don't apply it to my hair lengths either. Because if I did, then I'd have a much harder time removing that oil with a CG shampoo. I'll keep this on for an hour or two, and then I'm gonna hop into the shower. Get my hair wet and then start the shampoo process. I'm using the Saint Botanica Go Curls shampoo here. I'm gonna emulsify the shampoo and focus it on my scalp. And then I'm gonna use my fingertips to gently massage. This shampoo gives you a lot of lather. Next, I'm using a scalp massager brush. I'm gonna move in short to and fro motions. This will enhance the lather of the shampoo, giving me a much deeper cleanse and also stimulating blood flow to my scalp to help promote hair growth. Next, I'm gonna wash the shampoo off thoroughly. Now I'm gonna condition my hair. I'm using the Mom's Co Natural Damage Repair Conditioner. I'll take a very generous amount of conditioner, emulsify it on the palm of my hand, using half on one side of my hair and the other half on the other side of my hair. I'll apply from mid-length to roots using a combination of praying hands and roping. I won't detangle my hair at this step. I'll just wash the conditioner off and then wring my hair out with my hands. After which you can use a microfiber towel I'm using a cotton t-shirt and then I'm just wrapping my hair up. I'll leave this on for 5 minutes and then I'll gently pat my hair down. If it happens to be a sunny day, I'll spend a little time on my balcony and this will speed up the drying process. Once my hair is dry, I'll just tie it up and then I'll go about my day as normal. Do my chores, do my work, etc. Later on in the day when I have 10 minutes to spare, that is when I'm going to detangle my hair. Also, side note, it's always best to detangle in front of a mirror. So as you can see, my hair is completely product free here and all my curl clumps are broken up. At this step, I find it very easy to glide a brush through my hair exactly the way I did before I started CGM. So basically, take small sections and start combing. Start from the bottom and then work your way upwards. So before CGM, when I had gigs and I wanted to do something special to my hair, I'd use hairspray or like hair lacquer. They used to make my hair really hard and crisp. I never used to come back home from the gig and then detangle it. I always used to wait until the next day, shampoo and condition my hair, wash all the product off completely and then once it was completely dry, that is when I used to detangle it. So basically a while ago, I decided to apply the same modification to my CG routine and it worked out really well. It was relatively less time consuming also because of course you're breaking your wash day into two. So let's say you don't have like three, four hours on one day to complete your entire wash day. This makes sense because then you just have to give it like half an hour on one day and then on the next day you style. I did also speak about this routine in my detangling tips video. Anyway, getting to the point, it is so much easier to detangle hair that doesn't have any product on it when the clumps are completely broken up. There's very less breakage, it requires very little patience, especially if you compare it to wet detangling. Another point that I wanted to make is that I've been really enjoying the Miniso brush to detangle with. I feel like it works really well on dry product free hair. Once I'm done detangling, I'll tie my hair up in a scrunchie and then I'll go to sleep. The next day, I style my hair. If you want a deep condition, then do it right before this step. It's gonna help you retain moisture much better, but I'm gonna skip it for today. So I'm starting off with wet hair. One point that I want to make is that hair doesn't like to be pulled in the same direction 
over and over again. If you keep styling your hair on the same part and you do it for years, this can cause issues on the long run. You can experience a widening of the part. This can cause balding and can also cause the hair to recede. So always make sure to switch up your parting a little bit when you're styling. It's a good idea not to keep it the same. So here I'm styling in four sections, two at the top and two at the bottom. Spritz my hair down with water. I'm using the Curl Up Leave-In Cream. The brand was very sweet to notice that I was almost running out and they sent me a new bottle along with a card. So thank you so much Curl Up. But of course this video is not sponsored. The brand does not know that I'm making this video. Anyway, I'll take some of the cream and emulsify it thoroughly on the palm of my hand. Apply half the product using praying hands on one section. I'll apply the other half on the other section, again using the praying hands technique. Next, I'm going in with the Enliven Gel. This gel has alcohol, it also has DMDM Hydantoin, but I'm totally fine with both the ingredients. Emulsify and then apply using praying hands. Then I'll use a white tooth comb and start creating my curl clumps. I'm working in vertical sections, placing my fingers on the comb like as if I was holding a pair of scissors. This is going to help me create more tension on the hair and this in turn will form the clumps much better. I'll shake and then release. Once I'm done styling one entire section, I'll spritz my hair down with water and then I'll start scrunching. And then I'm going to check for that squishing sound. If you don't get that sound, it means that your hair might not be wet enough. This is one possible cause for frizz. So make sure you hear the squishing sound and you have enough water in your hair while scrunching. Next, I'll create my curl clumps on the other side. Spritz with water and then scrunch. Then I'll start working on the top sections. Apply the products exactly as shown earlier. Only for my top sections, I'm using a Denman brush because from the time that I cut my hair short, my waves have become much looser, especially on my top sections. But the under sections of my hair remain curly. In order for the curls to form and for me to make my hair look somewhat similar all over, I'm using the Denman brush and I'm doing a Denman twist technique, but only on my top sections. I've demonstrated this technique in detail in my Denman brush video, so I won't go into details here. Also notice that I haven't applied any product to the top two inches of my hair. This is gonna help me out with volume. Once I'm done styling both top sections and scrunching my hair, I'm gonna take all of my hair to one side and then I'm gonna scrunch. I'm gonna go to the right, I'm gonna scrunch, then I'm gonna go to the left, and then I'm gonna scrunch. And then lastly, I'll go upside down and then start scrunching. Take your time, be delicate, make sure you have enough water in your hair, you're hearing the squishing sound, and you're scrunching delicately. Pat down any frizz or flyaways. Next, I'll use an oversized cotton t-shirt to remove some of the excess water and product. This will significantly reduce my drying time as well. Also notice how much shrinkage and definition this step gives me. These wet patches on the t-shirt is basically all of that excess water and that product. Now I'm gonna plop. I'll place the t-shirt on the bed with the collar section away from me. I'll fold once at the top and twice at the bottom. Then I will gingerly lower my hair into the t-shirt. Wrap the folded bottom bit around your head, bringing the two ends together. Keep your hand here and don't let it go. Then bring the folded collar bit to the back of your head. Take the sleeves and then tie it in a knot. 
If you have these hangy bits, then you can double knot it. Adjust the front bit so that it's not too tight. If you want more details on how to plop your hair, I have a dedicated video. I'll leave it up here and also down in the description. I'll plop for like 20 minutes, then I'll take the plop off and then I'll air dry halfway. And then I'll go in with a diffuser on no heat and low fan setting. I'll hover diffuse the top sections of my hair and then I'll pixie diffuse the rest of my hair. I've covered all the details about temperature controls and fan settings and I've also shared my very own sit down diffusing routine that's easy on your back and on your arms. I'm not going into any details because I've covered all of these topics at length. FYI, wearing button down oversized shirts on your wash day is one of the biggest tips I'll be able to give you guys. Ask your dad or your brother to give you one of their old shirts. This is gonna make life so convenient on wash days. My hair is completely dry now. The cast was partly broken while I was diffusing. I'll remove the rest of the cast by scrunching out the crunch and fluffing out my roots. As I mentioned earlier, can you see how curly my undersections are? Whereas my top sections are more on the wavy side. Anyway, I'm using the Vilva Serum here to SOTC. Just a side note, I don't think this serum is travel friendly because it exploded twice in my suitcase and now as you can see I'm having some trouble with the spray nozzle. Anyway, here I'm just glazing my lengths with the serum and then scrunching. Super duper happy with my results. The shine and the gloss are amazing. I'm very happy with the volume and the definition as well. All I have to say is tens, 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 tens across the board. Comment down below if you get that reference. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and comment. This really helps the YouTube algorithm know that my videos exist. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.